Easter is the greatest and the most important feast in our church. It marks the birthday of our eternal hope. Easter literally means the feast of fresh flowers. We celebrate it with pride and jubilation. Easter says that the resurrection of Christ is the basis of our Christian faith. The resurrection is the greatest of all the miracles because it proves that Jesus Christ is Lord. If Jesus Christ did not raise from the dead, then the teachings of the church are false and the faith is a sham. But the truth is apart from this. Jesus really rose from the dead and his message is true. Without the resurrection, he would have remained forever a good person who met a tragic end. Jesus is Lord, He is risen, is the central theme and preaching of the Apostles. Easter is also the guarantee of our own resurrection. Jesus assured Martha at the tomb of Lazarus that I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live even though he dies. Christ will raise us up on the last day but it is also true in a sense that we have already risen with Christ. Finally, Easter is also a feast which gives us hope and encouragement. In this world of pain, sorrows and tears, Easter reminds us that life is worth living. It is our belief in the real presence of the Lord Jesus, in His Church, in the Blessed Sacrament and in Heaven that gives meaning to our personal as well as to our common prayers. Today's Easter service can be classified into four parts. The first one is the service of light. Christ is the light of the world. He is our beacon and hope. In remembrance of this, the priest lights the Pashka candle after blessing the fire. Let us remember that we are the people of the light and live our lives as faithful Christians. The second part of the Mass is the service of the Word. The Word of God is above anything else. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. By acknowledging this, we place His words and commandments in the forefront of our everyday lives. Let us be nourished and engulfed in this devotion. The liturgy also reminds us of this important fact. The third part of the Mass is the renewal of the baptismal woes. By renewing our baptismal woes, we are bathed again in the Spirit of God in our lives. We reaffirm our faith in God and take a pledge to lead a life free from the influences of evil, thereby remembering that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit of the one true living God. The final part of the Mass is the liturgy of the Eucharist. The Eucharist is the central part of Catholic faith. It is the true embodiment of Christ and we are making Christ a part of ourselves every time we consume it. The Eucharistic devotion underlines the importance of this holy sacrament. The light of Christ Thanks be to God The light of Christ Thanks be to God The light of Christ Thanks be to God.
Let us now proclaim the Pascha. Exalt, let them exalt the hosts of heaven. Exalt, let angel ministers of God. Exalt, let the trumpet of salvation. Sound aloud, our mighty King's Tyan. Be glad, let yet be glad, as glory flares her. A place with light from her eternal King. Let all corners of earth be glad, knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice. Lightning of His glory. Let this holy building shake with joy. Fill with the mighty voices of the people. It is truly right and just with an in love of mind and heart and we devote a service to our eyes to acclaim our God invisible the Almighty Father and Jesus Christ the Lord, His Son, His only begotten, who for our sake be and arms them to the eternal Father, and pouring out His own blood wipe clean the record of ancient sinfulness this the northern feast of Passover in which he slain the lamb and one to lamb whose blood anoints the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you let our forbears Israel's children from slavery in Egypt and made them pass dry show through the Red Sea. This is the night that with the pillar of fire banishes the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin leading them to grace and joining them to his 
Holy One This is the night When Christ broke the prison bars of death And rose victorious from the underworld Oh, wonder of your humble care for us Oh, love of charity beyond all telling To ransom a slave you gave away your son Oh, truly necessary sin of Adam destroyed completely by the death of Christ Oh happy for that yet so great so glorious a redeemer the sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness washes false away restores innocence to the fallen and joy to mourn oh truly blessed night when things of heaven not when to those of earth and divine to the human on this your night of grief wo heavenly father accept this candle ye solemn offering the work of peace and of your seven stands and evening sacrifice of praise this gift from your most holy child therefore o lord we pray you that this candle hello to the honor of your name may preserve and in to the overcome the darkness of this night receive it as a pleasing fragrance and let it mingle with light of heaven may this flame be found still burning by that morning star that the morning star who never said cry saw sun who coming back from this domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever ah Dear brothers and sisters now that we have begun our solemn vigil let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of god let us meditate on how god in times past saved his people and in these the last days has sent us his son as our redeemer let us pray that our god may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption first reading a reading from the book of genesis chapter 1 verses 1 to chapter 2 verse 
God saw everything that he made and it was very good. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit of the God was moving over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning one day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And the God made the firmament and separated the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were the above the firmament. And it was so, and God called the firmament heaven. And there was evening, and there was morning, a second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good, and God said, let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit, trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind upon the earth. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plant, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruit in which is their seed each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning a third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And then let be lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth and it was so and God made the two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also and God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness and God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, a fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth, across the firmament of the heaven. So God created the great sea monsters, and every living creature that moves with which the waters swarm. According to their kings and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, a fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, cattle and creeping things, and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds, and the cattle according to their kinds, and everything that creeps upon the ground according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image. After our likeness, and let them have dominion over the flesh of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping things that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, 
in the image of god he created them male and female he created them and god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth and god said behold i have given you every plant yielding seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit you shall have them for food and to every beast of the earth and to every bird of the air and to everything that creeps on the earth everything that has the breath of breath of life i have given every green plant for food and it was so and god saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good and there was evening and there was morning a sixth day thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the host of them and on the seventh day god finished his work which he had done and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done the word of god thanks be to god the lord fills the earth with his love The Lord fills the earth with his love The word of the Lord is faithful And all his works to be trusted The Lord loves justice and right And fills the earth with his love The Lord fills the earth with his love The Lord fills the earth with his love By his word the heavens were made By the breath of his mouth all the stars were made He collects the waves of the ocean He stores up the depths of the sea The Lord fills the earth with his love The Lord fills the earth with his love They are happy whose God is the Lord the people he has chosen as his own from the heavens the lord looks forth he sees all the children of men the lord fills the earth with his love The Lord fills the earth with his love Our soul is waiting for the Lord The Lord is our help and our shield May our love be upon us, O Lord As we place all our hope in you The Lord fills the earth with his love The Lord fills the earth with his love Let us all stand Let us pray Almighty, ever living God, who are wonderful in ordering of all your world, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Uh... 
Amen. The second reading. The people of Israel walked on dry ground through the sea. A reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verses 15 to chapter 15, verses 1. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward. Lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the people of Israel may go on dry ground through the sea. And I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they shall go in after them. And I will get glory over Pharaoh and all his host, his chariots and his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord. When I have gotten glory over Pharaoh, his chariots and his horsemen, then the angel of God, who went before the host of Israel, moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from before them and stood behind them, coming between the host of Egypt and the host of Israel. And there was a cloud and the darkness, and the night passed without one coming near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the people of Israel went into the midst of the sea on dry ground, the waters being a wall to them on their right side and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went in after them into the midst of the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots and his horsemen. And in the morning watched the Lord in the pillar of fire and of cloud looked down upon the host of the, of the Egyptians and discomfited the host of the Egyptians, clogging their chariot wheels so that they drove heavily. And the Egyptians said, Let us flee from before Israel, for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may come back upon the Egyptians upon the chariots and upon their horsemen. So Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its wonted flow when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled into it. And the Lord rooted the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea. Not so much as one of them remained, but the people of Israel walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters being a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore, and Israel saw the great work which the Lord did against the Egyptians. And the people feared the Lord, and they believed. Then Moses and the people of Israel sang this song to the Lord, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. I keep the Lord forever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. 
Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety, for you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, happiness forever. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. Let us all stand. Let us pray. O oh God, who seen seen wonders, remain unnamed in the splendor even in our day. For what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution, by the power of your right hand, now you bring about as a salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant we pray that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's by birthright through Christ our Lord. Amen. Third reading, a reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 1 to 11. Come to me that your soul may live, and I will make with you an everlasting covenant. O everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and he who has no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and, why, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Hearken diligently to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in fatness. Incline your ear, and come to me, hear that your soul may live, and I will make with you an everlasting covenant. My steadfast, sure love for David. Behold, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. Behold, you shall call nations that you know not, and nations that knew you shall not run to you because of the Lord your God and of the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the world while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the right, unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have mercy on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. 
for as the rain and snow come down from heaven and return not thither but what water the earth making it bring forth and sprout giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth it shall not return to me empty but it shall accomplish that which i purpose and prosper in the thing for which i sent it the word of god thanks be to god i will sing to the lord for he has triumphed gloriously i will sing to the lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horse and the rider he has thrown out into the sea The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, I will exalt him. I will sing to the Lord. For he has triumphed gloriously. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host he cast into the sea, and his picket officers are sunk in the sea. I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously The floods cover them they went down into the depths like a stone Thy right hand of Lord is glorious in his power Thy right hand of Lord shatters the enemy I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously Though wilt bring them in and plant them on thy own mountain the place of Lord which thou hast made for thy abode o lord which thy hands have established the lord will reign forever and ever i will sing to the lord for he has triumphed gloriously Let us all stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveiled the mysteries of the present age. graciously increase the longing of your people for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue through Christ our Lord amen my dear brothers and sisters the lord is risen hallelujah let us all sing the gloria Let us all clap our hands and sing the Gloria.
to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us bring, O oh God, who make this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stand up in the church spirit of adoption, so that renewed in the body and mind, we may render you undivided service through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God. For ever and ever. Amen. The fourth reading, a reading from the letter of Saint Paul. To the Romans, chapter number 6, verses from 3 to 11. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we had been united with him in a death like this, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the sinful body might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For he who has died is free from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we also live with him. For we know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again, and death no longer has any dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin, once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So you must also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. to God for he is good for his love has no end let the sons of Israel say 
His love has no end. Alleluia. 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 The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die, I shall live and become His peace. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel of Matthew chapter 28 verses 1 to 10 After the Sabbath toward the dawn of the first day of the week Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the sepulchre and behold there was a great earthquake for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the gods trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen. As he said, Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him, lo, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples and behold Jesus met them and said Hail and they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him then Jesus said to them do not be afraid go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee and there they will see me Gospel of the Lord Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ Jesus is Lord, He is risen, Hallelujah My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ On this joyful day, I wish all of you Happy Easter this is the night when all who believe in Christ are delivered from the gloom of sin 
and are restored to grace and holiness of life. This is the night when Christ broke the bonds of death and hell and rose victorious from the grave. How holy is this night when wickedness is put to flight and sin is washed away. It restores innocence to the fallen and joy to those who mourn. How blessed is this night when earth and heaven are joined and are reconciled to God. What is the holiest night of the year? Many would presume that the answer would be Christmas Eve, the night in which Christian world celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ. However, the answer is Holy Saturday or night before Easter Sunday. It is this night that Christians celebrate the resurrection of Christ from the dead. Not only is this night the basis for our faith that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, but it is also the basis for our hope in the bodily resurrection. What I find beautiful about Christmas and Easter is that both celebration sanctify that which many culture cost as negative, the night. Similar to how the birth of Christ transforms the symbol of the night from despair to hope, so too does the light of Christ's resurrection transform the night before Easter Sunday from the symbol of defeat to ultimate victory. Asatomam sadgamayam tamasomam jyotigamayam mirtyumam amidam gamayam Lord, lead me from unreal to the real Lead me from darkness to the light. Lead me from mortality to immortality. The celebration begins with simple flame, a light in the darkness, representing the light of Christ. The light of Christ illumines the darkness of a sinful world. The mystery of the whole light of the Easter Vigil reminds us that the darkness of grief is temporary eventually giving way to the new light through the resurrection of Christ. It is this very hope that has inspired people at other dark times of history to not lo lose hope but turn to the illuminating light of Jesus Christ inspiring the faithful to confront evil with love and peace. My dear brothers and sisters, the liturgy of the world today began with the story of creation. In the beginning, when God created heavens and the earth, the earth was formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep. Genesis chapter 1, 1 to 2. In the beginning, all was a dark void. And in this tomb, we find the same reality it is a dark void. Beloved, how many times will we find ourselves in the dark place? A place where any ray of hope is extinguished in the vacuum of fear, of not knowing, of total emptiness? But in that place, somehow, through the grace of God, we must be patient. We must wait for the wind of spirit, the wind from God that sweeps over the face of the water in Genesis chapter 1 to fan the dim embers of our faith. Then God said, let there be light. And then was light. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning the first today, Genesis chapter 1, 3 and 5. 
you see both darkness and light are part of the first day darkness and light are halves of every day ever since that first day darkness and light are essential part of our our lives and when we find ourselves in the dark tight stinky lonely place we must we, we must remind ourselves of this truth there will always ultimately be light in the midst of the darkness the easter vigil service begin in darkness at least is supposed to it is the darkness of the closed up tomb where jesus body lay on holy saturday the stone has been rolled in front of it no light enters it is utterly dark jesus torn and beaten body is already beginning to sting the women are planning to bring spices and to help preserve his body in the morning but now it is saturday in the dark airless deathly still tomb it is not a pleasant place to be unlike the hosannas of palm sunday and the glory of yesterday that we yearn for this day is holy week holy saturday speaks most directly to the daily reality of our lives after the shock of death or words that bring despair words like cancer divorce terminal downsizing covid-19 we find ourselves living with a what next of life and we enter the dark void of unknowing this is where many of us live from time to time sometimes it is the darkest of the loss of some someone dear to us whose absence we fear we will never be able to deal with the darkness of a terrifying diagnosis the darkness of not knowing where a child of ours is the darkness of a shattering reality that we had no idea was coming on our way yes there are times when we experience the stark gut wrenching pain of good friday and there are times when we know the jubilation of easter but this night holy saturday is a time in between death and resurrection it is a valley of grief and unknowing for us as well as for the first disciples on holy saturday we and they don't know what the future will bring whether the cancer will be cured or we will love again or find a job that fulfills our calling it is a time of dark uncertainty the birth life and death of jesus christ have no meaning without his resurrection from the dead jesus would have been considered an imposter a fake a liar or at best a prophet but he he would not have been recognized as the son of the living god if it were not for his resurrection from the dead jesus physically died passed through the gates of hell defeated death itself and was raised to eternal life there were many people who personally saw jesus christ resurrected from the dead it is the most talked about even in the human history both in time of christ and over 2000 years later in our modern times as well it is the beautiful thing that jesus christ not only died for the forgiveness of our lives but he also did his best to shatter our fear of death it isn't so much what we say in life that matters but what we actually do jesus knew that his words would only go so far in helping us to believe in him he rose from the dead to physically prove to all of us that there really is life after death we are also created for eternal life 
Jesus Christ broke through the barriers of doubts and the fear of death when he was raised from the dead on Easter morning. The stone that sealed the tomb of our Lord was merely a door through which he passed into eternal life. Death is but a door that we too shall pass through. There really is no such thing as death. Death does not the final say. Jesus Christ does. As long as we believe that Jesus Christ died for the forgiveness of our sins, that he rose from the dead to eternal life, so that we too might live forever, then we will live. We, we, we need not fear what death has in store for us, because Jesus Christ went ahead of us to light the way to the Father's kingdom. This is why he is the light of the world, the light of the entire human race, and this is the Easter joy. Jesus rose from the dead. Death is not the end. It is only the door to be on. Let us not allow the resurrection of Jesus to have to fight for room in our lives. Let Jesus' death and resurrection be the center of our lives. Although our body will return to dust, our soul will live forever with God. What is the purpose of life? What is the goal in life? Where is your heart in life? Life has only one ultimate goal to prepare for next life. And if you are not preparing for your own resurrection, you are like a train that has become derailed. What happens to train that gets derailed? It goes nowhere. Can you take your house to heaven with you? Then why make such fuss about your house? Can you take your car to heaven with you? Well then, why become so engrossed in your car? Can you take your bank account to heaven with you? Share your resources with those in need. Why are you so busy that you, are, you have no time to pray to God every day? It is God you want to meet in your next life, isn't it? I cannot understand anyone who says they believe in God but do not pray every day. It is a contradiction to say that you believe in God if you do not pray. The Christians who were to encroach in the places of the world are at their knees begging God to save them from COVID-19. They are throwing their hard-earned money at the streets and crying out for life. My dear brothers and sisters, in the gospel of tonight, we heard the angel telling the women in the tomb that Jesus would go before his disciples to Galilee and they would see him there and then Jesus himself appeared to the women and told them to tell the disciples that they would see him in Galilee. In other words, they would find the risen Jesus in their ordinary lives back in Galilee. The disciples did not have to do anything extraordinary to meet the risen Jesus after he rose from the dead, simply returned to Galilee to, to their ordinary everyday lives. We have had a beautiful celebration this week of the passion, death and resurrection of Jesus. Now, we will return to our ordinary lives. We will return to Galilee and with the eyes of faith, we will see the risen Jesus present in our ordinary everyday lives. Jesus is risen. His resurrection is not a past story or just a part of the history. It happens in our everyday life. He is risen in our day-to-day -day life. It is a fact. He surprises us by his new life in our daily living. Jesus no longer belongs to the past but lives in the present and he is projected towards the future. He is the everlasting today of God. This is how the newness of God appears to the women, the disciples and all of us as victory over sin, evil and death, over everything 
that crushes life and makes it seem less human our daily problems and worries can wrap us in ourselves in sadness and bitterness and that is where that is that is not the place to look for the one who is alive let the risen jesus enter your life welcome him as a friend with the trust he is life if up till now you have kept him at a distance step forward he will receive you with open arms if you have been indifferent take a risk you won't be disappointed if following him seem difficult don't be afraid trust him be confident that he is close to you he is with you and he will give you the peace you are looking for and the strength to live as he would have you do the resurrection is an invitation to look around to see transformation to see what is evil being changed what is immature becoming adult what appears inert like an egg or seed sprouting life on this rainy night let us invoke the intercession of blessed virgin mary who treasured all these events in her heart and asked the lord to give us a share in his resurrection may he open us to the newness that transforms us amen my dear brothers and sisters we are going to renew our baptismal promises as i already informed you kindly take the candle and be ready to renew our promises and this day is a very very important day for all of us though we are not able to attend the mass in our own respective parish churches and we as we parties participate in this mass let us devotely with a uh, with candles lighted renew our baptism dearly beloved with one heart and one soul let us my our brothers come to aid of these our brothers and sisters in their present hope so that as they approach the from the brave boat the almighty father may bestow on them all his merciful help lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy mary mother of god pray for Saint Michael pray for us Holy angels of God pray for us Saint John the Baptist pray for us Saint Joseph pray for us Saint Peter and Saint Paul pray for us Saint Andrew pray for us saint john pray for us saint mary magdalene pray for us saint stephen pray for us saint ignatius of antioch pray for us saint lawrence pray for us saint perpetua and saint felicity pray for Saint Agnes pray for us Saint Gregory pray for us Saint Augustine pray for us Saint Athanasius pray for us Saint Basil pray for us Saint Martin pray for us Saint Benedict pray for us Saint Francis and Saint Dominic pray for us 
Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Jesus, pray for us. All holy men and women saints of God, pray for us. Lord be merciful, Lord, Lord be deliver Lord, us, we pray, from all evil, Lord, Lord deliver us, we pray, from every sin, Lord, Lord deliver us, we pray, from everlasting death, Lord, Lord deliver us, we pray. By your incarnation, Lord deliver us, we pray. By your death and resurrection, Lord deliver us, we pray. By the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Lord deliver us, we pray. Be merciful to sinners, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bring these chosen ones to the new birth, through the grace of baptism. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Make this font holy by your grace, for the new birth of your children. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ graciously hear us. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water He has created, which will be sprinkled upon us as a memorial of our baptism. May He graciously renew us that we may remain faithful to the Spirit whom we have received. Lord our God, in your mercy be present to your people who keep vigil on this most sacred night and for us who Recall the wondrous work of our creation and still greater work of our redemption graciously bless this water for you our creator water to make the field fruitful and refresh the and cleanse our bodies you also made water the instrument of your mercy for through water you freed your people from slavery and the thirst in the desert to water the prophets proclaim the new covenant you were to enter upon with the human race and last of all through water which Christ made holy in Jordan. You have renewed our nature in the birth of regeneration. Therefore, may this water before us, a memory of baptism be received and grant that we may share in the gladness of our brothers and sisters who at Easter have received their baptism through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 
let us renew our baptismal promises dear brothers and sisters through the paschal mystery we have been buried with christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in the newness of life and so now that our lenten observances is concluded let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced satan and his works and promise to serve god in holy catholic church and so i ask you do you renounce satan i do and all his works i do and all his empty show i do do you renounce him i do as to live in the freedom of children of god i do do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you i do do you renounce satan the author of the prince of sin i do do you believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i do do you believe in jesus christ his only son of our lord who was born of the virgin mary suffered death and was buried rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the father i do do you believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting i do and may almighty god the father of our lord jesus christ who has given us new birth by water and holy spirit and bestow on us forgiveness of our sins keep us by his grace in christ jesus our lord for eternal life amen amen let us sing i saw water flowing from the temple I saw water flowing from the temple from its right hand side alleluia and all to whom this water came blessing and all shall say Alleluia Alleluia I saw water flowing from the temple from its right hand side Alleluia and all to whom this water Him blessing, and all shall sing, Alleluia, Alleluia. I saw water flowing from the temple, from its right hand side. Alleluia and all to whom this water came blessing and all shall say Alleluia Alleluia Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts, we love you, take our lives, O oh, Father, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts, we love you, take our lives, O oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Yours as we stand at the table you stand, Yours as we eat the bread our hearts can't forget. We are the signs of your life with us yet. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts. 
we love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours. We are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts, we love you take our lives, oh Father we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts, we love you take our lives, oh Father we are yours, we are yours. Your holy people standing washed in your blood, Spirit filled yet hungry, yet we await our food. We are poor, but we brought our souls best. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh Father, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh Father, we are yours. We are yours. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for the good of all this Holy Church. O oh God, with the Paschal gladness, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and raised through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you. O oh Lord, but on this night above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes, bringing this great glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, sing to him, Hosanna. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we may humble prayer and petitions through Jesus Christ, 
your son our lord that you accept and bless these gifts these offerings and holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy catholic church be pleased to grant your peace to god unite and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant francis our pope need in order our bishop and all those who holding to the truth hand on the catholic and apostolic faith remember lord your church especially the servants the intentions with whom we are praying let us bring before the lord all the prayers and petitions and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in health and well-being and paying their homage to you the eternal god living and true in communion with those whom the memory we venerate especially the glorious ever virgin mary mother of god and lord jesus christ and blessed joseph her spouse your blessed apostles and martyrs Peter and Paul Andrew James John Thomas James Philip Bartholomew Matthew Simon and Jude Linus Cletus Sixtus Clement Cornelius Cyprian Lawrence John and Paul Cosmas and Damian and all your servants we ask that through their merit and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our lord jesus christ in the flesh and in communion with those who memory we venerate especially the glorious ever virgin mary mother of god and lord jesus christ Be pleased for God we pray to bless our knowledge and approve this offering in every respect make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and the blood of the most son of our lord Jesus Christ on the day before he was to suffer he took bread in his holy and venerable hand and with eyes raised to heaven to you O God his almighty father giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands and once more giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me
द मिस्टरी ऑफ हे When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the Passion. the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your son o lord we your servants and your holy people offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim this holy victim this spotless victim the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kind countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servants able the just the sacrifice of abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest melchizedek a holy sacrifice a spotless victim in humble prayer we ask you almighty god come and that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participated participation at the altar receive the most holy body and bread of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our lord remember also lord your servants whom you gone whom have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace grant the whole lord be praying and all who sleep in christ your place of refreshment light and peace to us also your servants who thought to sin us hope in your abundant mercies graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs with the john the baptist stephen matthias barnabas ignatius alexander Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us. We beseech you, in the company now being our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Trugim miti manin gim in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us do not bring us to the test but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil 
graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i give you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant them peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the risen lord be with you all be and with your spirit let us offer this to each other the sign of peace peace be with you Lamb of God, O oh Jesus Christ, take away our sins, we pray, and have mercy on us all, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, O oh Jesus Christ, take away our sins we pray and have mercy on us all and have mercy on us lamp of god o oh jesus christ take away our sins we pray grant us peace o oh, grant us peace Grant us peace forever. May the receiving of the body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus who is risen from the dead. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and bread of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Be thou my wish, and O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me save that thou art. Thou my best thought by day or by night, waking or sleeping, thy presence thy light. Be thou my wisdom and thou my true word I ever with thee and thou with me, Lord Thou my great Father, thine own may I be Thou in me dwelling and I one with thee
riches I need not, nor vain empty praise. Thou mine inheritance, now and always. Thou and Thou only first in my heart. I, King of heaven, my treasure Thou art. Be Thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me save that Thou art. Thou my best heart by day or by night, waking or sleeping, Thy presence Thy light. Be Thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me save that Thou art. Thou my best heart by day or by night, waking or sleeping, Thy presence Thy light. Be Thou my wisdom, and Thou my true word. I ever with Thee, and Thou with me, Lord. Thou my great Father, Thine own may I be. Thou in me dwelling, and I one with Thee. Riches I need not, nor vain empty praise. Thou mine inheritance, now and always. Thou and Thou only first in my heart. High King of heaven, my treasure Thou art. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, hallelujah. Therefore, let us keep the feast with unleavened bread of purity and truth, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and the favor, so that in here by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come thou fount of every blessing tune my heart to sing thy grace streams of mercy never ceasing call for songs of loudest praise teach me some melodious sonnet Sung by flaming tongues about Praise the mount, I'm fixed upon it Mount of thy redeeming love 